Hi, it's Dave Myrtle from Aquacraft Seafood Innovation. Well, today feels a little bit like a metaphor for 2020, doesn't it? It's been a little dark, a little rainy, a little bit challenging. For those of you who follow me on social media, you know I often have some thoughts and comments on where we need to evolve our commercial efforts in the seafood sector, specifically starting to market differently and market towards the consumer. And that's all about understanding the consumer, getting to know the consumer, understanding their motivations, and using that information to start to develop strategies to engage the consumer. After all, for the most part, in the last few many years, seafood consumption in here in North America has been flat, and we need to start thinking about how we can power that growth. So I thought we'd head down to a local grocery store and see for ourselves what's happening in the seafood sector and the other proteins. Let's head inside. Well, that was interesting, but it wasn't exactly a blinding stroke of insight. It wasn't new news to discover that land proteins dominate the retail environment, or that consumers choose chicken or beef or pork way more often than they do our own beautiful, delicious, sustainable seafood species. It's not new news that red meats and chicken and pork are presented beautifully in the retail environment. They look spectacular. There's lots of variety. There's lots of different products to choose from. The packaging, packaging looks appealing. None of that is new news, and it's not new news that seafood is often not presented in nearly the same favorable fashion or given the same amount of retail space as land proteins. Actually, some seafood producers are focusing on marketing, and we can learn a lot from them. And they're doing this through set prices, preferred partnerships, and just plain old good brand marketing. Unfortunately, this emphasis on marketing is the exception, not the rule. Most producers are focusing on short-term weekly commodity trading and this sort of ruthless pursuit of margin. And those two things are the opposite of what is needed to move ahead, seafood consumption and growing our sector. Well, I certainly don't have all the answers, but I guess two things that I think about is, one, doing less or not as good marketing is definitely not the answer and two marketing to the trade and the wholesale environment and not focusing on the consumer is also not the answer in the weeks and months ahead we're going to talk to many people who might have some insights that can help us change this equation we're going to talk to data analysts we're going to talk to digital marketers we're going to talk to packaging producers, we're going to talk to chefs, we're going to talk to retail buyers, we're going to talk to marketers of other proteins and find out what they're doing right. And maybe throughout this whole journey we're going to find some insights that lead us to some better ways to move our category ahead and actually make uh, seafood something that consumers choose just as much as chicken, beef or pork. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. Support your local independent restaurant with takeout or delivery, wear a mask, and let's look forward to a much better 2021, certainly better than uh, what 2020 brought us. We'll see you right here over the next few weeks as we embark on this great video series and hopefully we learn some ways to move our category ahead in 2021 and beyond.